what is the philosophy of uh, mathematics and then maybe the the difference between philosophical mathematics and mathematical mathematical philosophy um is, is there a difference is the same thing here or are we just splitting hairs so i think i think a philosophy of mathematics is about the philosophical study of mathematics so just like say philosophy of biology is about the philosophical issues that are that arise but once one is studying biology you know questions about how you classify organisms what is a species what's what's diversity these are sort of questions that arise when you're doing biology and there's nothing in a way that's distinctive that's just philosophy it's a interesting collaboration between biologists and philosophers but there are certain questions that you find in philosophy of biology that uh, lean more on the philosophy side than on the biology side but in order to do the the philosophy of biology you need to be a good philosopher but you also need to know the relevant biology you can't just sit in your philosophical armchair and say oh biologists should do this that or the other yeah. so that's how i sort of think about the relationship between philosophy and their sciences when you're doing philosophy of x for some the x where x is a science and so philosophy of mathematics i think of as the philosophical questions that arise from doing mathematics, you know, questions like what is a proof? What's the appropriate logic? What's the nature of mathematics? What's it about? Does that affect the logic? For instance, if you're a fictionalist about mathematics, you think it's a work of fiction, then should you be subscribing to a different kind of logic to the logic that's actually being used and so on and so forth? These are all questions that, again, are not exclusively the purview of philosophers. Mathematicians think about these things as well. And it's a you know, ideally a collaborative effort whereas mathematical philosophy i think of as more using mathematical methods to solve philosophical problems mm. so uh, think of cases where you're using various kinds of mathematical methods say from decision theory or game theory to solve corporation problems to understand how language arises how People can agree upon meanings of words. So in philosophy of language, there are these game theoretic models. They're using mathematical methods to mm. solve philosophical problems about language, for instance. Or you might use, you know, decision theory, uh, again, mathematical methods to come to understand problems in various areas in philosophy. Um, Pascal's wager, which no yeah. doubt from your background would know very well, sure. that renders very well to a kind of decision theoretic um, formulation. And then you can get very clear about what the assumptions that Pascal was making and so on and so forth. So I, I think of mathematical philosophy as using mathematical methods in service of philosophy. Whereas philosophy of something rather like philosophy of mathematics, I think of sort of the direction is a little bit the other way. It's using philosophical methods to help us understand something about the nature of mathematics. Okay. Okay. Now, um, you, you talked about this decision theory and um, like if someone's doing hardcore like Bayesian uh, reasoning and stuff like that, does that, would that count as mathematical uh, philosophy? If someone's doing hardcore Bayesianism? Oh yeah. I mean, on you know, the people no doubt disagree about this kind of usage okay. and yes. it's just a, you know labels for things but th that's what i would think of as mathematical philosophy um okay. sometimes the area of in, in epistemology people talk about formal epistemology yeah and and formal epistemology i think of as part of mathematical philosophy it's using these formal methods not always mathematical sometimes you know logical um using modal logics you know epistemic logics and the like in the service of helping us understand what knowledge is for instance i think of that as you know part of this formal come mathematical uh, approach to philosophy okay but just not to say that that's an that's something you sign up for and that's all you should do or that's all philosophy is you know i just think it's a, a, a interesting tool one has in one's toolkit and if your background is sort of more towards the mathematics and logic you know the old saying if uh, you know the hammer is the only tool you have the whole world looks like a nail well <laughs> that's me a little bit mad, 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 mad. hey guys thanks for watching that clip from the parker's pensies podcast if you enjoyed it leave me a like and drop a thinking emoji 
in the comments or let me know what you thought. If you did enjoy it, if you learned something, you're going to love the full conversation over on my main channel, Parker's Pensies.